webinar, U.S. Pharmacopoeia, Chapter 1029, Good Documentation Guidelines. In this presentation, we are going to review uh, the scope of the presentation first to give you an idea of what we are going to cover. The list of abbreviation uh, used during the presentation is also provided in case you want to look um, at this uh, later. We will then discuss U.S. Pharmacopoeia General Chapter 1029 in detail. First, I will provide a brief history of the chapter and how it was generated. Then we will go into the purpose of the chapter. And um, this will be followed by the chapter outline and a discussion on each item. Finally, there is a summary slide to wrap up what we will discuss in this session and references in the end that are presented for your review later. Okay, so let's focus on GDP that is discussed in the newly released General Chapter 1029 from U.S. Pharmacopoeia under the name of Good Documentation Guidelines. I'm going to start here by providing a little bit of history behind this chapter and how it was generated. So what was the purpose of this USP chapter? The entire chapter is not more than six or seven pages. In this slide, I have listed the outline of USP Chapter 1029. Continuing still on the data collection, next subject that is discussed in the USP Chapter 1029 is different type of GMP documents and what information you need to include in each type. Uh, next subject discussed in this chapter in, uh, is equipment-related documentation. All the equipment used at any point in the life of a product should be basically properly maintained and uh, qualified for their intended use. Uh, the next subject that is discussed in this USB chapter 1029 is deviation and investigations. The next subject discussed in this USB chapter is batch records. So basically you need to create a master batch record or MBR as a template for manufacture of each specific product. The next part discussed in this chapter is certificate of analysis or uh, it is also known as C of A or COA. The next subject discussed in this chapter 1029 is a standard operating procedure or SOP. The next subject discussed is protocols and report. The next subject discussed in is uh, analytical procedures. Uh, now let's discuss training documentation. Finally, the last subject that is being discussed in USB Chapter 1029 is retention of documents. In summary, uh, GDP rules and regulations are simple and effective in saving you from all kinds of trouble. This uh, concludes our webinar today. I hope it has been helpful to you and thanks for your uh, attention. Please feel free to contact us at info at easyglobaltraining.com. Also visit us at www.easyglobaltraining.com to view a list of all upcoming webinars and courses. Subscribe to our monthly newsletters promotional rates, and coupons that we offer. You can also pre-register for our upcoming courses to save your space or become an approved uh, consultant or instructor with us. Finally, you can request a consulting service for regulatory and quality compliance or medical affairs. We have social media channels as well, so feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post interviews or talks about different areas of regulatory and quality compliance in these channels. Also follow us at Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date on what we have to offer. Again, thanks for being with us for this webinar and hope to see you soon.